Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you another video about Battlefield 5. So, I apologize for the gameplay in the background, I suck at flying in Battlefield 4, but enough about that and back onto the news. So, as we all know, Battlefield 5 is rumored to take place in World War 1. Um, with the Game Developers Conference happening this week, um, I'm going to be having a ton of Battlefield 5 content, so stay tuned for that. But basically, in this video, I'm going to be going over, I guess, some pros and cons of having a Battlefield game set in World War I. So getting right into it, one of the pros would be a unique and different game. So a lot of the past Battlefields have been military-themed, like um, modern military as well. So we haven't seen much variety in our games. Battlefield Hardline made an attempt to change up Battlefield, but didn't really succeed. So I think it will offer a fresh take on Battlefield and will, I guess, renew some interest that was lost in Battlefield Hardline. Um, it won't be a fast game, because World War I wasn't a fast war. However, you know, Battlefield is known for being tactical and not too arcadey or too fast-paced like COD and stuff is. So, And also, if the game is like Verdun, which is another World War I shooter, I've heard it's really fun. Um, if it's like Verdun, then it should offer a unique yet satisfying experience. So yeah, um, however, the con that comes with this is like a really drastic change in gameplay so like even though it will be a nice fresh take on battlefield it might be too drastic a change like um uh verdun succeeded because it had slow paced infantry focused combat but noticed i said inf uh, infantry focused combat um vehicles were limited in world war one like the first tanks were used but they were nothing like the ones in battlefield 4 and also airplanes uh just were started were just built and stuff but once again there are nothing like the airplanes that you see in this video right now so i'm like vehicles will be extremely limited and i remember a lot of people were upset that battlefield hardline didn't have room for jets and stuff or tanks so they really need to bring back vehicles and i don't really think they could do that with a world war one game um another pro is a chance for a good campaign um i like campaigns in games uh, however, the campaigns of like Battle 3, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 have been like the absolute low points of the Battlefield games. Battlefield Hardline's campaign was, I think it was decent, it was worth playing to some, but um, still, it's not like it was award winning or anything, so there's a chance for a very good campaign um, in a World War 1 setting. However, a con for this is that others will argue that a campaign is not even needed, like in the slightest, because obviously... The only reason why people are still playing Battlefield 4 is because of its multiplayer. So, yeah, like a lot of people will probably argue that a campaign is not needed at all. So, yeah, and then another pro, my final pro is Trench Warfare. Um, it'll introduce a lot of tactical stuff like takeovers of, takeovers of enemy trenches and close combat. It'll put a higher need on melee fighting and may introduce some new melee stuff and close combat weapons. And it'll be really cool. And there's also be going to be, like, really cool terrain, like, um, blasting craters into the dirt and stuff. And I think it could be, like, a really interesting battlefield experience. However, the con with this is that there'll be, like, almost a complete lack of levolution and maybe even too much close combat. And also poor weapons, because World War One, while, you know, there were guns and stuff, it's not, like, anything, like, the wide variety of stuff that we saw today. So yeah, besides like blasting craters in the terrain, like there's no way that you can le like have evolution in a trench. Like you can't level a trench, I think. I'm pretty sure there might be some buildings or trees or something, but overall there just won't be that much evolution. And uh, as I said earlier, there may be too much melee because melee combat can be really hard to master in FPS, and some people might just not like melee combat. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Overall, World War One may be too much of a drastic change. While Battlefield Five needs to be new, fresh, and unique, but while bringing back some elements of um, older Battlefield games, it shouldn't be too drastic of a change. And I think World War One would be would uh, differ too much from what we're used to, and definitely differ way too much from the military roots that um, Battlefield Five is apparently returning to. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I have a bunch of Battlefield 5 content coming out soon. I had a big video on it yesterday that you should definitely check out. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe for more Battlefield content. I will see you later. Bye.